Hello Lobos and Canvas learners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an announcement and how to save that announcement to your homepage. So I'm in the homepage of my course and you can see right now I'm in teacher view and the announcements icon has this eyeball with a slash through it. That means right now that there's no content and this is not visible to my students. So they would not even see the word announcements on their sidebar right now. Um, just to show you that, I'm going to click over to student view so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see they only see modules and grades. I'm going to leave student view and go back to my teacher view. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the word announcements and that's going to take me to this page. You'll see this big bullhorn, no announcements, so we know we're in the right spot. I'm going to hit the plus announcement option that's on the right hand side and that's going to open up my text editor. This text editor is the same as you will see in when you're creating content pages, assignments, discussions. It's a very similar feel. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a topic or a title. I'm going to use this title. And then I'm going to put in my content that I want to share out to my students. If I, this is in this case, it's a text only announcement, but I could add images. I could add links, I could add video, I could import files. The same things that I can do to a content page, I can also do at the announcement level. But I'm going to leave this one just as text. We'll talk about how to do audio and video announcements later on. I want this to go to all sections. I don't have any attachments to add. I'm okay with users commenting because they may have questions about my assignment. And I'm going to leave the rest alone because I don't need them to like it and I don't need to delay posting. So I'm going to say save. That announcement is now live, immediately live. Because I did not delay posting, it is now visible to my students. So when we go back home, we'll see it here. And I'll show you how I did this in just a moment. But I did want to show you student view is now going to look different. You'll notice that the word announcements is now visible in the sidebar and that the announcement is pinned to the top of the student homepage as well. That is not a default setting. You have to actually go into your course and add this on. So let me show you how to do that now. To get your announcements pinned to the top of your homepage, go to your course settings and scroll down to the bottom and click on more options. One of those options says, show recent announcements on course homepage. Make sure that box is selected and then pick your number. The default number is three. It will let you have up to 15. In my opinion, that's way too many announcements to be pinned to the homepage. I like going with that, that most recent three. So basically what this will do is it will show your most recent top three announcements that you've shared out. As you share new announcements, they'll bump off the page. They're still always available when the kids click on the announcements button. Alright, make sure that you hit update course details or that setting will not save. So again, now when I go to announcements, all of my announcements would be visible here. The most recent three would be pinned to my home page. Alright, Let's go back to announcements and I'm going to show you how you can create an announcement now and delay it in posting. So I do the same thing. I hit the plus announcement button. I'm going to call this one welcome back. <laughs> Maybe. And I'm going to delay posting this one. And I don't want this one to post until the first day of school. And so now I'm going to save it. And when we go back to that announcements page, you'll see right here that it says delayed until August 12th at 12 a.m. So it will not go live until midnight. So when I go back home, you can see that it is not visible on the home page and in student view it is not visible either because it has not released yet. So that is how you can do a delayed announcement which is great especially if you know about things that you want to share out but you you want to kind of work ahead. 
you don't have to post it at that moment in time. So that is how you create an announcement. That is how you create a delayed announcement. And that is how you save announcements to your home page. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to any member of the digital learning team. Thanks.